Well, it is a grisly murder mystery on Long Island involving not one, but two victims. Yeah, the details are simply disturbing. Investigators say a head and the limbs of two different people, a man and a woman, have been found in a park in Babylon. The search for more remains continues at this hour. It's leaving local residents unnerved. Yeah, Pick 7's James Ford is live for us in Babylon with what we're learning tonight. James. And here's what we can tell you, where the first of these many human remains were found was right here on the edge of this large wooded park. And that happened yesterday and all day today, a further search going on. The reason we're able to bring you right here to the park is that for now, this search is called off, but that does not mean the investigation is over by any means. The crime scene unit and the command post were called off from the scene Friday evening after two days of this. K-9 unit members of the Suffolk County Police Department very busy. They'd had a grisly assignment to see if some disturbing finds of human remains might lead to even more gruesome discoveries. Based on the condition, um, preliminarily it appears it's a, it's a matter of a small amount of days, if not hours, that they were out here. The lead homicide detective confirms that a woman's head, her leg and an arm were found by cadaver dogs after a high school student on her way to school on Thursday found a man's arm that had distinctive tattoos and the fingertips cut off. Another arm and a leg thought to be from the same man were found later by search crews. They expanded the restricted search area on Friday. We searched the entire perimeter of the park uh, we're going to keep doing that, um, and then we'll make a decision on searching the interior of the park. He talks about what you see here from Air 11. Southard's Pond Park has 19 acres of woods where officials searched for more possible body parts. I Obviously. live right down the block. Local residents like Joanna Higgis and Kaya Milhouse, who've lived here their whole lives and walk in the park regularly, vocalize concerns that many people we encountered here expressed. Is it something that was targeted or is it something that we all have to worry about? Yeah, like you said, is it, is it a gang related thing? We're not sure, but that's something that's definitely on all of our minds right now. In response, the word from detectives is this. Right now we're focusing on identifying these people and hopefully when the identification is made, some answers will be revealed to us. That's And again, this is the park right here, very forested, but it is right at the edge of this residential neighborhood. And many people here asking, how was it that someone was able to deposit these large human remains in the woods here and nobody saw anything or heard anything? Those questions, trying to get them answered, is part of this ongoing investigation. Reporting live from Babylon on Long Island, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.